I think coming in, as, as I uh, mentioned before, coming in new um, and, and new to learning about Treaty 7 territory as well, um, it was, I was like a deer in headlights, as you probably remember. And so thankfully the project had already started and I had a connection, um, our, our division already had a connection with Solange and honestly, I know this is being <laughs> filmed, but without that connection, I have no idea where I would be right now. And it was really the leadership from Solange and the project that put me on a path to even figure out what my position was within our division. And it really put um, an emphasis on the professional learning that needed to happen. And um, I still think that's that's part that's a big part of my role and it will continue to be, but the project really um, um, emphasized that for me. Well, it all started with awareness. And then, yeah, just even having a process laid out or something somewhere to start um, um, was instrumental. And then where do we start? Because every, as you can tell from yesterday, every division is coming at it from a different, um, a different way. And we, we're all so unique that it's, it, that having at least some process, we all could find a way in. Um, so then of course, um, having the time with you to go through all the resources that are out there, which is actually really overwhelming and having that time to work with you and and really figure out the resources and, and then how can I bring that to the teachers so it's meaningful to them. Um, so it was both the process and then products that we were able to create from that. When I came into the position, it was like Greg, Greg Roberts uh, was like, we need to do something, it's professional learning, so like it's up to you, create something. And, and um, we already had communities of practice, so that was, it was, uh, well, it wasn't, it was an easy start, but it wasn't because, uh, like I said yesterday, I was really scared on the uptake um, because, as you know, we offer PL and we don't always get the uptake and I've had to cancel things. So um, it was starting that community of practice and just offering it and just seeing who's going to come and having that guiding question. And I don't know that that would have developed, that guiding question would have been developed enough had it not been for the project. and the wording from the project and all of that, like that that's what stemmed the community, right? Um, and then to see to see 20, 20 people, uh, teachers, EAs, like I said, speech language, um, all come together and share in that learning. And, and those, those are the champions, so it's not you must do this, it's who wants to champion this work. And I can tell you right now, I know it's gonna grow. I'm probably going to have to put a cap on <laughs> the participants. So, and having an elder um, really lead it and help us with the direction of it and to be present, um, it brings a whole different energy to the community. And then that also speaks to, to where we learn um, and, and going out and learning um, in different places. It, yes, it's, it was great to have the elder uh, in our um, boardroom for the day, but it was it's also good to, to get out and, and learn in other places. And then that kind of springboarded us into more relationship development with the, C the Calgary Regional Consortia and working together with the elder and with y Solange and, um, and seeing them develop too. Like uh, the development that I saw from the CRC and the things that they offered this year um, through our collaborative work was, was really good to see too. It's reaching more divisions. Some of the professional learning that we've taken forward as a division as well as the CRC is that experiential learning and that speaks to the poverty stimulation. You're learning by doing, you're immersed in it and then it conjures up emotions for you and um, and you're and it makes you, because you're right in it, it makes you kind of think about things different and you need to address and reflect on why did I feel like I didn't didn't want to participate in the poverty simulation? So why did I want to shut down, right? And so, and of course, the debrief after the poverty simulation has some really deep um, conversations where where you can discuss that, and then and then you really relate it back to to um, your schools and and what that could look like. So it speaks to the type of learning our teachers are doing in order to have their own understanding, which. I think we, if we realize hey, these are the things we like to do, we like to go to Blackfoot Crossing, we like to do simulations, we want to play with the brain game to 
and I know we know that, but then when you actually have PL where you're doing that, you, you, you bring that right back to your classroom and, and remember that for your students as well. I do see it as a community engagement tool because it is meant for adults. That I, It's definitely professional learning for our adults. Um, <clears throat> within our, our communities, um, this is absolutely work that needs to be done in collaboration with other community service providers, FCSS, the town. Um, that's actually the way I, I, of course, with school staff as well, but that's the way I see the success in it. Whether it's us having the kit or it's a united way, this kit is meant for community. Um, so I, I just think that's the intention of it and uh, it, it needs to go far and wide. And I think the only way it can really be successful and because of the numbers that it needs to run, <laughs> that we really do, it needs to be an involvement of, of all service providers within our communities. I would just like to say I am worried about where things are going to go after this because it has been um, so empowering for me as someone at the division level to have somebody um, in, in your role and taking this forward that um, it's, I'm interested to see where it will go and I know that I would really like to somehow see us continue to come together as divisions and, and hear like how can we keep this going and even if it's twice a year or whatever how can we keep connecting and how can there still be a connection with a position like you were holding um, as you you really were a leader and you were <laughs> leading lambs whether you knew it or not and not all of us of course but some of us you were <laughs> but but we need that to continue so like I said I'm I, I'm I'm a little bit anxious on what what moving forward will look like